Hey y'all, what's up? Hope you're doing well. It's John. I know it's been a while. Hope you're all doing well. Um, just wanted to make a quick video uh, reminding two things. Number one, don't sleep on the theme builder. Uh, you have access as part of your membership to the theme builder here. But number two, you don't necessarily need to use one of the child themes to use the theme builder. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, so the way that we build sites at Artillery is for custom level websites. I'll build the home page and then I'll design and build out a home page that the client approves. And then what I'll do is I'll build an interior page that has maybe six, seven, eight different sections on there. And then I take the home page and the interior page that I made and I give it to that to that to our junior builders and they built out the rest of the site with the content. So my role is just the home page getting that approved, a style tile um, that I get the client to approve. That's step one. And then the team gets a wireframe approved. I then take the style tile and wireframe and make the, a mock-up that gets approved. Then I build that here in Divi. Uh, I also do uh, the menu and I do all the responsive, uh, all the responsive stuff as well for the home page. Build that interior page and send it over. Uh, I did this one last uh late last week and so for the interior page uh even though i'm not using one of the super themes here i i still thought you know i'm gonna go to the wireframe kit theme builder and i'm just gonna use some of these sections uh i'm gonna go ahead and build out some of these sections drag drag, drag them out here download the json file and upload them and build build my interior page so like this section right here, you'll notice that it's one of the, I believe it's one of the featured or one of the, I think it's one of the general sections. Yeah, this one right here. That section's right there. That's this one. Um, this one right here is another one of these either featured or general sections. I'm not going to drag them all out, but I use this one here as well. Uh, here's the one I was just telling you about. Yeah, I think I like this one as well. So I drug that one out. Uh, I also like this one here. So I drug that one out. And the order of them really doesn't matter because I'm going to I'm going to use them uh, in a different order anyway. Easy to move them around once they're in Divi, right? Ooh, this one here too. I, I really like this one. That one. And so you'll see um, that I put them in and they're already responsive, right? Because we've already tested them out. So all I did was just, you know, add, the, add a few button styles for the folks building the rest of the website. Uh, I rounded the corners because that's the style this website needs. It changed minor things where needed, like we're using Adobe font on, for the header. So I'd add a, add a class to those and, and just style them. But usually this interior page would take me about an hour... 45 minutes to an hour 15. Uh, well, with importing these sections, it cut my time down to less than 20 minutes. Um, so don't sleep on the theme builder. Yeah, here's some of those those sections really coming to life. That one right there, that's that guy. I mean, even this section right here, like, yeah, this would take you maybe five minutes to build in Divi, but it's already responsive. It's already ready to go. It's so easy just to import it. This section two turned out really well, I thought. Uh, and this is just a duplicate of this section, just to, showing a different color usage. So anyway, uh, as a final reminder, don't sleep on the theme builder. And, you, and if you're not using a super theme, wireframe kit is really flexible to go and grab sections that are already responsive, they're already built. Makes it super fast to build interior pages this way. All right, y'all. Cheers.